Hi there. I um, had a few um, requests to um, show my other filmer sound amp, which is in, based on an EL84. So I thought I'd do um, a sort of B rig. This is actually my B rig. I have an A rig, which is my main sort of um, gigging um, amps. So I have two of them, and uh, on a previous video, this rig here is kind of like a bit of a backup rig because I don't actually use these amps live. So normally these amps are actually set up here in my sort of apartment to record and the other amps I take out on the road. Here we've got basically an EL84 filmer sound which has been modified by Bill Grenard and that's going for a Celestian Type A speaker at the moment. I'm probably going to change uh, the speaker here actually to a Celestian G1265 um, and the reason for that is a few different things. It's a great speaker and when you actually wear those speakers in, it takes a while, they really um, have a beautiful sound. But also it means I can put this head through that speaker cabinet as well. It just makes it more sort of flexible. So uh, this guitar head here is a Mystic Blues. It's 100 watts and it's based on a kind of Robin Ford style era amp from the, um, I think it's like sort of late 80s or mid to late 80s sort of style dumbbell amp. And in this cabinet here, we use a Thiel cabinet, and we have an Altic Lansing 12-inch um, speaker with an aluminium cone. It's the one that Carl Santana uses. It's actually my, one of my favourite speakers. Okay, so let's just listen to the filmer sound amp going through the reverb, or the reverb rather going through the filmer sound amp. Beautiful clean sound. Um, probably the best clean sound I've ever heard out of a projector amp, so kudos to Bill Crenard for um, modifying this amp. Um, it just, it's just got a lot of um, attack, it's very fast. Careful because you've got to, your playing's got to be quite you know on the money because you're going to hear all the mistakes. Um, it's a little bit different to the 6v6 version of this amp. 6v6 is more kind of tweedy, a bit more forgiving, it um, sags a little bit more, um, and it uh, distorts more as well. This is a lot, a lot louder. This this um, actual amp. <laughs> Okay, so let's listen to the uh, Victoria Amps Reverberamo. sound you can bring some slide into it okay so we're going to move on to the next amplifier which is the mystic blue star um, as you can see here. There's a little bit of a, a history about Dumball amplifiers and slide guitar, not least because of Raikuda, who's my favourite. And this, this has got a bit of a Raikuda sort of era, sort of start, um, sound to it. 
It's not so tweedy and as as crazy as the, the other turquoise head which I actually normally gig with. This is actually a bit smoother. And uh, what's really good about these amps is um, um, I'm basically using this as an overdrive pedal. You see, all my clean stuff comes from this amp here, and then this amp only does the overdrive. Um, and it's kind of like, it's very smooth and it, the note blooms. So obviously when you play slide guitar, that's a really um, great thing. So let's just check this out. tone delay, a slapback delay, but I'm actually going to put that in the front end. What I like about that is it gives it a bit of a kind of Neil Young vibe to it, so that the distortion kind of um, messes up with all the delay repeats, rather than if you put it in the effects loop, which you'd normally do with a Dumble style amp. I said again this is just the overdrive for my setup the, all the clean sounds coming from the film sound and and then just the overdrive is coming from this so I don't actually use any overdrive pedals the only kind of pedals that I'm using now um, are the free the tone um, delays and reverbs and also the Carl Martin uh, the Carl Martin spring reverb here okay and also obviously the Victoria Amps reverb ramo um, so that's kind of the, the basic rig. I mean, you know, I like to keep things simple now. Before I had big pedal boards, you know, um, and I'm now I'm kind of thinking it's more about, you know, keeping a, a really small setup with, you know, one one speaker. You don't need two, you don't need four. As long as you've got great amp sound, you don't need all these big speakers everywhere. It's a lot easier on your back to carry stuff to the car and back. So, you know, just keeping things really, really simple, keep your rig simple and, uh, you know, just try and max, you know, try and get the best clean sound possibly can you know just really focus on that clean sound and then obviously your overdrive tones um, now you may only you might want to get that at one amp and if you do go the one amp route then you're going to need an effects pedal because to change uh, unless the double amps actually have a you know two channels but generally I try to use this setup because again if one amp fails you've got the other amp and you're really kind of you know focusing this amp for the clean and this amp for the best overdrive tone you can get. So, you, you know, they're not trying to fight each other, they're just doing their own jobs. And I don't really even tend to um, hook them up in stereo, but obviously live you've got the, um, the option 
Well, if an amp goes down, then I can just use this amp, or if that amp goes, you know, if this amp goes down, I can just use that one. So there's sort of advantages to having this sort of setup. So if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.